the Spanish and the French music, we come to the English time. So, uh, this block of pieces we are going to play now, I think it's very special also. In one way also because you will uh, listen uh, to a Native American flute together with Baroque uh, instruments. Uh, this will be for the two uh, pieces we are going to play. The first one, Northampton, uh, this is an in uh, that uh, appears in The Last Moita, because The Last Moita from John Fenning and Cooper, which I decided to read again. <laughs> this was last summer, now a good time for reading these books. And uh, curiously, I found uh, out that uh, one of the characters of the book is a singing, sacred uh, singing teacher, uh, whose name is uh, David Gaunt. And uh, um, the author uses it as a comic effect, anyhow, because even he says, well, this happens, and then he uh, took a book of his pocket, which was, by the way, the edition singing uh, sacred song uh, published in Boston in 16, uh, 1744. Uh, so he read this in uh, last night. And uh, by the way, this Northampton, which uh, he sings in uh, some event in chapter 12, it was the Psalm number no. one of Psalm Bay Book. Psalm Bay Book, which was the foundational American devotional book when uh, settlers in America uh, decided that they didn't like so much uh, the uh, Psalter uh, was used in England and they found that they would adapt better uh, the text uh, to uh, their own text. So this was Boston 640. And we will start with Northampton, uh, Psalm number one, uh, played uh, with uh, India through the Baroque instruments, which would be like the last point of collaboration between Indians and white people uh, making music. But then this will uh, go to another very interesting piece that I think has much to do also with the American culture because this was popular since its first publication in London in 1784 till the middle of 19th century, which is the death song of Cherokee Indians, was first published in London in 1784. Uh, this was uh, written by uh, um, Anne Hunter, uh, the wife of John Hunter, the very uh, known uh, surgeon, and uh, but it says in the book the simple melody of this song, as well informed by his fair author, was brought to England ten years ago by a gentleman named Turner, who had, owing to some singular events in his life, spent nine years amongst the natives of America, he assured the author, the continues that it was peculiar to that tribal nation called the Cherokees, and that they chanted it to a barbarous jargon, implying contempt for their enemies in the moments of torture and death. So this is how it was published in London, then it was very popular in America, and uh, mm, let's say also because it has, uh, as uh, is said, uh, some educational values of resistance which also were used in uh, school. So we are going to play, sorry for all the talk, we have to play mainly, but uh, first Northampton and then uh, the left song of Cherokee. 